Hi right guys, Len here. I just finished this chisel today. I just want to make a, another one. I want to try and make it in the same style as my mate Seth Wood. But Facebook does it. Um, he's a brilliant blacksmith. So his design was just like flared out here and then tapered in there. And so I've just finished it and he treated it. Uh, probably still see, maybe see a little bit of the colours just in here. So what I'm going to do now is test it on some steel. Oh, I keep going away from the camera, sorry guys. So I've got a bit of an edge on it, so I'm going to test on the chunk of steel I've got. So let's go and see how this goes, see how my hardening and tempering goes. Okay, let's give it a bit of a test. No damage whatsoever. I hope that's showing up. I've still got to hold a glove, it's still hot. I hope, hope that's focusing okay. Seems to be better when I focus away then bring it up. So there's no damage on there at all. Now let's have a look at the um, the chuck of steel that I hacked into. I hope you can see this. Can you see that? So one, these are really sharp, I'm gonna to have to do something with them. So that's that's what it did, it hacked into all of that. One, two, one, two, three, four big chisel marks. So there you go guys. Um, I do it the old style way. I brought this up to critical temperature three times. There's my touch mark. It's a bit dark in here, isn't it? A bit overcast today here in Queensland. Um, let me come out here a bit, might be better. Don't know if that's any better. There's my touch mark. Anyway, heat this up three times. Critical temperature, anti-magnet, so it's not magnetic. Then I put it down on, the, on my fire brick from the forge down there. Can you, can you see a fire brick? I can't do it this way, hang on guys, sorry. Wait, I'll bring the legs up. Again, so I'll put it on there, let it cool down to a black heat, put it in the forge again, get it up to critical temperature, do that three times, then I come to my oil. Let me just work this out, hang on. My oil down there. Canola oil or vegetable oil. I dunk it in just the tip, about the first inch and a half, two inches. Figure eights in the oil up and down. Keep moving it, keep moving it. Do that for about, I don't know, 20 seconds. I pull it out. I wipe it with my dirty old rag over there. And then I'll clean it with a 
I'll do the edge then with an old sanding disc just do the edge shiny it up and then wait for the colors to run then when when I get to my nice crimson peacock color it will depend on what you're doing for these chisels I like doing peacock as you saw it works it cut the steel then you put it in same thing but then you start quenching the whole tool start quenching it concentrate on this end more that's what I do because that's your cutting end you want this bit softer that's your hitting end so there you go guys let's see if we can see this again there's the chisel marks it cut into as you can see they're pretty they're pretty deep pretty deep chisel marks anyway that's just another little video guys so I'll catch you later have a good one don't forget a John Swatter from Black Bear Forger we said get out of your shop make something and wear your safety glasses like I do I've got them on now see you guys catch you in the next one can't get any light on this there we go that's a bit better it's a bit of an overcast day today all right guys i'll catch you later lens on and off <laughs>